Hey, what is going on, everybody? This is 86. That I have finally made it to the end game in December. Uh, so now I can finally start running the Chaos Dungeons. Actually, you unlock quite a bit once you get to uh, the end game. You unlock the Relic, which is pretty cool. It's like this little thing that follows you around and has its own skills. You unlock like the Compendium. You unlock daily quests, uh, the Chaos Dungeon. I think there's even more stuff that you unlock as well. Um, but yeah, we finally made it there. It's been a grind. Um, had to restart a few times. Uh, but we finally uh, made it. Dungeon tab. Okay, so I'm actually going to run the first Chaos Dungeon. Go ahead and run one. Check it out. Glad that I finally made it here. It's been a grind. Um, the biggest tip I can give to new players while going through the campaign is save your Resurrect Scrolls. Um, only use them for like end act bosses or... Like, if you can get the boss down to less than half health um, without having to use one, then it's kind of a good time to use one. But uh, you should really hold on to those and um, hold them uh, sacred because you do not get a lot of them. And uh, you kind of really need those once you get to the later acts, especially like acts 9 and 10. Um, so, yeah, just keep that in mind. Uh, also, just don't be afraid to, like, level up a little bit. Uh, I had to do that a few times, just uh, kind of all behind in levels while you're going through the campaign a little bit. So definitely nice to um, just uh, grind out some levels for a little bit. I actually did that last night just because I couldn't get through Act 10. But uh, sometimes uh, it's just kind of required in this game. This game's uh, campaign is uh, quite a bit more difficult than some other ARPGs that I've played. But I also kind of feel like that's intentional because they kind of want you to spend money on red scrolls and things like that. Let's try not to die in here if we can help it. Hopefully this won't be too much of a problem. This is the first Chaos Dungeon I ran, so I don't really know. Difficulty. Oh, we got a Light of Life. That's the, uh... I mean, I use my pet ability now, too. So if you die, are you just done with the dungeon? Guess we'll find that out now. You only get one shot. Oh. Okay, well that's good to know from here on out, I guess. Um... Yeah, so at least I finally made it to in game. I'm actually going to be going live here shortly. Um, now that I finally got there, I'm going to be streaming here on YouTube, grinding it out some more. Um, like I said, make sure to use uh, save those res scrolls um, for like the final act bosses, or when you already got a boss pretty low and you know you can maybe finish them without having to use another. Um, then it's usually worth it. But if you can't seem to get past a boss, just grind it out. Uh, if, if you, um, if you stick to it, you'll get through it. Uh, fireball is definitely a very strong skill. I would recommend that to anybody else, considering you start off with it right at the beginning of the game. So, uh, that helps a lot. Um, just me, I want to use that all the way through. Um, but overall, um, I, I still definitely recommend this game. It's a lot of fun. And now we get to, um, actually see what it opens up to in the end game and check that out. Um, I'll probably do like a full review of the game once I actually go through the end game and check that stuff out and see how it goes. Um, but overall, I do recommend the game. I haven't spent any money in it and I am made it through the campaign and hopefully we can get through some uh, of the end game without having to spend any money. Um, be sure to uh, like and subscribe and hopefully I'll see you guys in the stream or in the next video. Peace.